This tutorial series will focus on using Chef to improve or upgrade software administration within a DevOps environment. In this video, we will walk through critical terminologies and help you understand how Chef works. Chef can help manage various node types, including servers, cloud VMs, network devices, and containers. It manages Linux, Windows, the mainframe, and several other systems. Chef will ensure that every system in the environment is automatically set to the right stage to meet the requirements you have defined in your code. Next, let's look at some of the terminology used in the world of Chef. This includes terms like workstation, Chef server, nodes, recipes, and run lists. A workstation, in the simplest terms, is the admin system. The workstation enables the interaction between Chef Server and Chef Nodes. All cookbooks are created and tested in the workstation. Chef Server. The Chef Server is the center of the workstation and the nodes. All the cookbooks, recipes, and metadata are stored here. The cookbooks are pushed to the server using a knife command. The nodes communicate with the server using the Chef Client Nodes. Nodes refer to machines managed or configured by the Chef server. These may be virtual servers, network devices, or other storage devices. Recipe. A recipe is a file containing instructions or resources to be executed. These recipes are included in cookbooks. For example, web server RB. Run list. A run list defines all the information necessary for Chef to configure a node into the desired state. If you find what we discussed in this video complex, don't worry. We will break it down in upcoming videos to help you better grasp each concept. We will delve into a range of topics, for example, setting up environments, writing your first cookbook with a compliance file, how to upload or push the cookbook to a server, and executing these on a remote client.